my god, you can see steam coming out of his mouth. I love how our commentary is perpetuated by his snoring. <laughs> if a younger, stronger male comes ashore and manages to fight him and beat him, then he will take over the harem. So, and if when you see two fully grown elephant seal males fight, it's quite phenomenal. They sort of rear up and they're kind of like a worm on their hind legs and they smash into each other with the full weight of their bodies, which is, you know, several tons worth. And they've got, you saw when he opened his mouth, they've got these pretty sharp incisors and they kind of like smack into each other and like take great big gouges out of their neck. So often you'll see the older males with big scarring as well. And if they manage to get the other elephant male's proboscis and injure it, that can often be fatal to the elephant seal male because it's so vascularized. It bleeds prolifically and they can actually die from that. So, so once they've they beaten them, sure what that, where they have to leave? Yeah, so they will have, this is during breeding season. Obviously this is not breeding season. So these guys are all, you can see that some of them are molting and that's why they're hanging here on shore like the penguins, they don't feed when they're molting. It takes about two to three weeks to go through the process. And so they're sitting here in the elephant seal wallow to try and thermoregulate. And one of the things they also do is they're, they're what we call thigmotactic. They, they like to be touching each other. It's actually true. That's why they group up in groups like that. They're pretty cute. They have um, this thing.